Let's do one more example. Here I've created a data definition for size, which is itemization data. And here is its template. Here I've created a data definition for year. The year is scalar data, so we don't need a template. And let's assume that I have written a data definition for vineyard. Now let's go do our example of a bar order. For our bar order, we have three struct definitions, coffee, wine, and tea. Then we have the main part of the data definition with the three construction patterns, one for coffee, one for wine, and one for tea. The construction pattern shows you what the arguments are for each of the constructors. And then, of course, for each constructor, we have an interpretation that tells us the meaning of each of the fields. So for coffee, we have size, type, and milk. For wine, we have vineyard and year. For tea, we have size and type. Let's go ahead now and write the template. As usual, we start with the contract. So it's a bar order function. We call it BO fun. It takes a bar order. We may use this template many times with many different target types. So we use the question mark there. So we say define BO fun of order. We have three alternatives, make coffee, make wine, and make tea. So we will have a cond with three clauses, one, two, three. Close cond, close define. Now let's put in the predicates to distinguish the different cases. Because these cases are defined using define struct, we have our predicates predefined for us. So I can have a predicate that says coffee huh, order. Another one, wine huh, of order. And the other one will be T huh, of order. If you happen to call this function with an order that is not one of these three things, then the cond will go off the end. In the student languages, at least, this will generate an error. Next, we have to tell how to construct the answer for a coffee the answer for a wine, and the answer for a tea. So if the order is a coffee, the answer will be some combination of the fields in a coffee. So that is coffee size of order, coffee type of the order, and coffee milk huh, of the order. If the order is a wine, then the answer will be some combination of the wine vineyard of the order. the wine year of the order. And if our order is a T, then the answer is some combination of the T size of the order and the T type of the order. Notice that because I have written this in racket without comments, 
I have my automatic indentation, which generates nice indentation for me. The last step is to turn this into a comment, which you do by going to the bracket menu and choosing comment out with semicolons. And that's all there is to it.